Liam's school vacation had just begun and he was excited to be traveling all over Dinoland. All packed up and ready for his solo adventure, Liam's first destination was the exotic land of Dinonic. Once in Dinonic, Liam noticed how different everything was from his home, starting from the skin and spikes to the language and clothes. Nothing was the same. Famished from the travel, Liam entered a restaurant and asked for the meat he relished back home. But as soon as he mentioned it, the people made faces and threw him out. The same happened at many other restaurants until Liam inquired someone about the reason. The dinosaur immediately shushed Liam and said, Young traveller, you asked for the meat of a god-like dinosaur here. Always remember, while travelling, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Do things the way dinosaurs around you are doing, not to mess up. Jacob's Positivity Jacob had been working hard on building a brand new cave for his mummy and daddy dinosaur. Every day from dusk to dawn, he would collect rocks and cut wood to build their dream cave. After the weeks of hard work, the construction was finally taking shape and everyone was excited for the magnificent cave that was being made. But not everything goes as planned always. A massive earthquake in the dino land caused a few small rocks in the construction to come loose and the whole cave collapsed. Many gathered around to offer kind words of consolation to Jacob and his family. But Jacob only smiled and said, The earthquake helped me spot some major flaws in my construction. Now I can make a better one that won't collapse so easily. Under trying circumstances, one can either cry or take everything in a positive stride. The choice is ours to make. No dinosaur is an island. In a tiny village, there lived an old dinosaur, Matilda. She was known as the shrewd auntie dinosaur. The entire village lived like one huge family. But Matilda liked to keep distance from everyone. The village was full of warm, kind-hearted dinosaurs. Yet Matilda chose loneliness over their company. She proudly boasted to all those who came up to her. I am independent. I don't need you all. I can live alone and well. But little did she know how soon she was going to be proven wrong. Old age caught up with Matilda and she fell seriously ill. Immediately the villagers sprang into action and nursed their auntie. Matilda took good health together. Then another dinosaur came to Matilda and said, my friend, no dinosaur is an island. Nobody can live independently. Everyone needs others, sooner or later. William the Complaint Box William was the least liked dinosaur at school. All day, every day, all William did was complain about one thing or criticize another. All other dinosaurs chose not to tell him how unpleasant this characteristic of his was and quietly tolerated it. At the start of the new session at school, a new dinosaur Jake joined. On the very first day, William stopped by Jake's desk and said, Your handwriting is terrible. You should practice it more. During the next period, William told Jake, You are not very tall. You should exercise more. As they walked back home, William smirked at Jake and said, You walk so slow, you'll always be late. That's when Jake said, William, point out others' flaws only if you have none. And you, my friend, have plenty. Perfect yourself first and then question others. Surprised at his words, William realized his flaw and mistake. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, 
सब्सक्राइब टू साहिल बुक हाउस